My name is Detective Roger Jones. I'm Private Eye. And today was one of my hardest cases yet. A man came in begging me to look for his lost jacket. Little did I know, this would be the most difficult case. Private Eye Jones, something terrible has happened. What do you want me to do about it? My white leather jacket has been stolen by the gangs. The gangster. Yes, everyone calls him Buddy Brown. Buddy Brown was my arch nemesis. I have yet to see him, yet I've always seen his crimes. They were gruesome indeed. Put the evidence right here. The flashlight. It was found in the coat pocket. What is I, this? I, it's a flashlight. Interesting. That's the pin that was in the top uh, breast pocket of it. What is it? It's a pin. What is this? It was found in the pocket, the handkerchief. Interesting. Smells of snuff. No. The last one. The brown bunny's hot. Interesting. Where were you on the scene of the crime? I was at my house. Then I heard a horrifying noise of a man running straight toward me. <sighs> I was examining my pen and then he came at me. He started attacking. He told me to hand over all the money I had. I had no choice but to let him take the jacket so I could be safe and run away. I managed to take off his hat too. That's, that's how I got this and all the evidence. And that's how it happened. I need to have this jacket back for the dance at six. And what weapon was he holding? Fork. The sharp one at that. Here's the money I'll pay you. One, two, three, four. Pay forty dollars to stop the case in under an, an hour. I'll see what I can do, sir. Thank you. <laughs> now, now. A missing jacket and only a few clues. I didn't have very much to go on, but at least I knew the weapon. And at least I knew where the criminal got the weapon. Oh, how can I help you today? Private Eye Roger Jones. I'd like to look at your array of silver. Okay. All I have is a fork, some spoons, and knives. Okay. I'm very confused right now, Detective. What's going on? I'll tell you in a second. This was the right style fork, all right. Now that I knew where the criminal got the weapon, I knew how to find him. May I ask you a question, Miss? Taylor. Miss Taylor. Was there anybody who came in here and got a fork? Oh yes, there were eight men. Tell me, were any of them wearing a hat? All of them were, yes. What types of hats? Big beach hats. Is there anybody with a cat hat? Oh yes, two of them came from the baseball game last Sunday. Interesting. Did any of them seem like they wanted to murder someone? Oh my detective, that's a crazy question. No, all they wanted was a fork. So they, pay, so they paid me and they got a fork. Interesting. Miss Taylor, may I ask you one last question? Er, uh, I guess, yeah. Who were the two people that came in with the baseball caps? 
Well, there was one guy named Ted and one guy named Brian. Do you know what their last names were, ma'am? Brian's last name was Briar, and Ted's last name was Timothy. Thank you. Your help is very <laughs> helpful. Come again! It was time to look into my new suspects. Come in! Uh, who are you? Roger Jones, Private Eye. Nice hat. Oh yes, I like yours too. Thank you. Now, I've heard that you went to the kitchen and got a fork the other day. Oh yes, I needed to finish my meal. Interesting. Why if I look around your apartment for it? Oh, I don't see why not, unless you don't take anything or mess anything up. Thank you. What's the big deal about this anyway? I'm searching for a criminal. Well, detective, I ain't no criminal. Why would you think it's me? Because you're wearing a hat. What well, my hat have to do with anything of this? Right, detective, you could uh, explore the rest of the apartment, but just don't take anything or steal anything. I got to go out. Actually, I think I'm done here too. Thank you for your time, sir. You're welcome. Oh, I never caught your name. Yes, we do. I wasn't very confident about my first suspect, Ted. But now I only have one suspect left. Brian. Let's see what he has to say about the matter. Hello? Well, hello, de Detective. Your name must be Brian, then. Yes, it's Brian Brits, mind you. Now, what are you doing here? I was just following up on the case that you gave me earlier. I didn't give you any case, Detective. Yes, you did. It's about your missing jacket, which looks like you've already found. And what happened to your eye? I was in a fight. Nothing of your business. Fair enough. Perhaps you want to see my entire room to prove to you that I did not take any jacket. No, I was just checking in. Thank you. Needless to say, I was stumped. There were so little clues, and even one of my suspects was the person who came to me in the beginning. And then it hit me. I was looking through the money whenever I began to notice a pattern. Hello, Brian. May you please come over to my office? I think I have solved your case. Yeah. Yes, the doctor, if you have to see me. Where did you get your jacket at? You mean this one? Yes. Where I found it? Yes. It was on the side of the road, Maple Street. Interesting. This is, well, you know what's also interesting? What? This money that you gave me. Yes, what's about it? Well, you spelled money wrong. You're clever, detective. That's not the only thing that tipped me off. When I was at your house, I noticed that there were glasses with a missing lens. The same glasses that Buddy wore. It wasn't just that either. Also in your house, there was a fork hanging from the ceiling. A perfect place to grab a weapon whenever necessary. That was whenever I first realized something was off. And then... I also realized that you were wearing the jet very jacket that you were missing. And, on a suspicious looking safe, you also had the jacket that Buddy Brown wore whenever he robbed people. You're clever, but not clever enough for this. I'd put your weapon down if I were you. That's what I thought. Hands up. 
hands behind your back. You're under arrest. For stealing your own things. Let's go. Buddy Brown was going to prison for a long time. And that was the last we ever saw.